Good day learners. So just like the nature of the roots of quadratic equation, did you know that you can also identify the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation even before solving it? Yes, you heard it right. All you need to do is to apply the formula in finding the sum of the roots and the product of the roots of the given quadratic equation. It's raining hard, but the learning must continue. So once again, we can find out the sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation by just using this formula. So for the sum of the roots, it's just negative b over a, and for the product of the roots, it's just c over a. So these formulas are just derived from our quadratic formula, which is again, x equals negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let us now try to find out the sum and product of the roots of this quadratic equation. So you were given 2z squared plus 8z minus 10 equals 0. So let us first identify the values of a, b, and c. In order for us to get the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation, we just have to apply negative b over a. So that's negative value of b, that's 8 over the value of a, which is 2. And we just have to divide. Negative 8 divided by 2 is just negative 4. This is now the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation. And in finding out the product of the roots, we just have to apply c over a. And the value of c here is negative 10 over the value of 8 is 2. Negative 10 divided by 2, simply negative 5. Now, let us give this quadratic equation a try. So this is a squared plus 4a plus 3 equals 0. It is written in standard form. So you can identify the value of a as 1, the value of b as 4, and the value of c as 3. Then you may now substitute these values in the formula of the sum of the roots and product of the roots. Let's start with the sum of the roots. So that's negative b over a. So negative value of b, that's negative. 4 over value of a, which is 1. Negative 4 divided by 1, it's just negative 4. For the product of the roots, c over a, so that's 3 over 1. 3 divided by 1 is just 3. Alright? So this means that when you solve for the values of this quadratic equation, a squared plus 4a plus 3 equals 0, their sum would be negative 4 and their product would be positive 3.